Uh, I watched another the, the, the video that I did yesterday, last night. I think I do those videos because um, I want to test the limits. Like, I'm surfing psychologically. Like, how close can I get to the edge of the volcano without falling in? And the volcano being me making public videos at 3.15 in the morning when I'm fucking stoned and have playing video games for six hours straight or 12 hours straight or something. Like, my mind is in its most uh, isocentric place when I'm doing that stuff. Like its own, like its own, like Ian Cross and contained way of being. It's really weird. So when I put that shit on the internet, you know, that's like I was in my house alone for hours and hours and hours and, and no social contacts, and then I just turn on the video camera and start talking. And like you see my bizarre behavior, probably seems like, you know, I don't know. I think for a while people thought I was like, be careful, you're gonna be homeless. But now I feel like the people that have been watching me for a while or watching these videos for a while. You guys seem to know me, a lot of you, you people, and know that it's okay when I do that, like, that sometimes I do that, and that's okay, because I learn from exposing myself like that, kind of almost against my will. It's kind of like working out, like, I don't like working out, but I do it stretch my body and lift my weights and it's kind of the same thing with online videos I guess I don't really like it like right now I'm not I'm not liking this I'm just doing it to communicate the thought get it across so that it's some better blood or better blood jeez some better behavioral um, behavior like I start on a track and I'm I'm like I could just finish it so quick I don't have to talk for 10 minutes about something. I don't have to talk for 30 seconds about something. I can say it, be done. I just emoted, be silent. Be silent, you know? I don't need to talk. I'll start using it more, that ability. It's like a quick key button, I'm thinking. That ability to emote, to talk in my mind without speaking words and kind of uh, get across a feeling. I feel like it's on my hot key, my quick, my quick key uh, slot. So if I click F2, and I have that ability, but I just haven't been using it very much because I've been afraid of it. Because I've been like, what? When I do it, it gets really calm. It calms people down, usually. I mean, I don't do it. With darkness, I don't do it with anger. Rarely, I have been in the show, and that's like scary. Scary for me, scaring me, because I think that's the darkness. The path of the darkness. Um, so, uh, And then I was thinking, so it doesn't matter what I say, it only matters when I do it. But I think it's both. Anyway, I've got this, this ability, this inherent ability, and... I'm going to use it more. I'm going to find comfort with it and communicate with people empathically. It's not as exciting, but literally, excitement is like fire, hot, overwork, stimulation. Cool is the opposite of exciting. When people are like, aren't you excited? And I say, no, I am calm. And they're like, but... I don't want to be excited. If I'm excited, I'm, I'm missing what's happening around me. I, things fly by, and I'm like so excited that I don't see it. But when I'm calm, I'm more open to all the stuff. And I can survive longer because there's a lot of shit, a lot of predators, predatorial behavior out there and in our society. And it's good to be aware of it and see it and notice it immediately so that you can react. <sighs> Either by flying away or by killing them. <laughs> There's not really a need to kill in this day and age. Not with my body. I feel like the ignorant, angry people will die. Probably due to the weather and the lack of social structure. Like, the infrastructure will get busted up and all the people that are angry and excited or whatever are not going to know what to do. And they're going to think, like, if I don't have electricity, I'm doomed, is going to be their mindset. They're like, if I don't have running water electricity, I'm doomed. But that's not the way it is. We can survive. We can find our own and run our own water and 
eat our own food, grow our own food, and move away from large amounts, and tribalize all over the continent and the world, and interact with the internet, have like small societies, global societies, and small packets all over the place, communicate with all the other societies around them. Like societies of 100 people, 50 people, like with their own culture, semi-culture, within a larger culture, always communicating with everyone, and everyone's always meeting and traveling. And But there's going to be a period, I think, where electricity goes out, before that happens, I probably will will build that from the ruins or the rubble. When does when does a city become a city ruins? That's what I want to know. Like literally, what is the point when a city that's maybe being being destroyed becomes ruined? Is that when no one lives there, or is it when thirty percent of the population is still there? Thirty seventy percent of the buildings are destroyed. Ninety percent of the buildings. Um. Yeah, I, I'm not going to hurt anyone, but I think in just inherently no, know, I know inherently knowing that evolution calls for a calm mind. Right now, at this stage, in general, I think a calm mind because really we're all agitated about sexuality. But if we didn't have female female gender, we would all be working together to eat and sustain all the time. It's this male female sex drive that's like rocking us, rocking me, I should say. If I didn't have that male-female thing around me, dude, I would be constant creator. I would be constant learner. I would be, I don't know, it would be a weird reality, but I think we gotta, kind of got to work together as if we're all one gender. At least, you know, and then we pretend, and then we just like forget about it when we get in bed at night and, and have sex and procreate. But I really want to treat people the same. I want to treat people how Ian Crossan would treat people. All the time. No exceptions. Oh, here come the sirens. <laughs> so that means it's my time to log off the video. Alright, I'll see you, man. And woman. Man, I like calling people man because man and man, both have man in their name, so when I say, hey man, everyone responds to it. It's pretty cool. Peace.